In this video, we will examine a trading strategy algorithm based on volumetric analysis. Professional traders incorporate a trading plan, analysis, entry and exit rules, risk management, monitoring and adjustment, emotional control into their strategy in addition to the indicator parameters and action algorithm. Every item on this list warrants attention and is of critical significance. The impact of a strategy multiplies when it receives the requisite attention towards each item on the list. You may have assumed that there is a lot to contemplate and take into account. This notion is normal. However, it is not as complex as it may initially seem. Recall your initial driving lesson. Many factors to account for such as speed, traffic, pedestrians, road signs, side mirrors, and route, all while using a manual gearbox. However, over time driving becomes easier, allowing for the occasional call or message. Inevitably, a trader will experience reduced profits if there is insufficient effort to analyze the market or monitor and adjust their trading activities. Our recommendation is to prioritize these key factors. Neglecting risk management protocols will swiftly impact profitability. Tip for you. Disciplined self-control, strictly adhering to a trading plan and strategy algorithm, is the most efficient path towards confident and stable trading. Bernard Baruch is a great investor, in his book written by no speculator can be right all the time. In fact, if a speculator is correct half of the time he is hitting a good average. Even being right three or four times out of ten should yield a person a fortune if he has the sense to cut his losses quickly on the ventures where he has been wrong. Displaying stock trade volume in each bar can help us determine when and at what price a large trader is active. We agree that large trades influence price dynamics and control the trend. If we can identify when large capital enters the market and establish the strategy, buy or sell, of the large trader, it could be advantageous. Do you understand the difference? Technical analysis strategies rely on price and time indicators. Volume analysis strategies rely on data concerning the timing, price, and volume of large market traders' positions. Picture in your mind a floor of a stock exchange, in a pit where grain futures are traded, traders shouting their buy and sell orders gesturing to show how many contracts they are prepared to buy or sell. As you observe the trades from a close range, you gain insight into the market's trends. It is easy to identify bids more likely to buy or sell and to deduce which trend is probable during the current trading session. This is a great strategy, don't you agree? Step by step. 1. Determine the MVL max volume level, core, range, after the close of the trading session. 2. Set price control, range extension beyond the volume level. Buyer, if the price is trading above the volume level range. Seller, if the price trades below the volume level range. 3. Determine the entry point as close as possible to the volume level range, after the correction is complete. 4. Buy or sell, depending on which way the expansion of the volume level range occurred. Five. Setting a stop loss, above the range of the volume level, when selling, below this range if open to buy. 6. The transaction is accompanied by the trader during trading until the transaction is fully closed. 7. The stop loss order is moved to the opening price of the trade plus one tick, after the first imbalance activity is completed. The price has reached the level when the market is in balance. 8. Fixation of the deal is divided into two to three equal parts. 9. Fixation conditions counter expansion of the balance range. Before the publication of an important economic calendar report, the price cannot pass the minimum maximum of the last or current day. 30 minutes before the closing of the session, to successfully execute a large volume order, it is necessary to divide it into smaller orders to increase the chances of execution. It is crucial to keep in mind that a counterparty is required to execute the order. For instance, when placing a market buy order for five contracts, the seller must be present to complete the trade. The big trader must find counter orders within a specific range while maintaining market balance. Therefore, in a balanced range, the traded volume is focused closely around a specific price. This phenomenon is observable in all active markets, such as the Euro FX futures contract. Observe the BTC, a cryptocurrency. Tick chart. Moreover, it comes with analysis tools and filters to explore the volume and delta of each trade. Let's utilize the tick volume filter with a parameter of 100 contracts. 
tick with a volume greater than 100 contracts are indicated by a blue circle. I will now highlight areas where large volumes have accumulated in previous days. Through the example of BTC, I aim to demonstrate that the trading behavior of large participants is similar across other instruments. As you can see, large trade clusters are present in each MVL of the day. For those interested in studying the tick chart in detail, the next video course will cover all its features. A link to the tick chart video tutorial is available in the video description. However, let us begin with one of the most important risk management topics, that is, managing the size of risk in a trade deal. Risk management is a vast subject encompassing various aspects, including account management, diversification, hedging, etc., recommended to be learned by every trader before engaging in real account trading. Setting a stop order after opening a trade is a rule in every strategy. In this strategy, the trader follows the volume range and aligns the entry point accordingly. The placement of the stop order should also be based on this critical range. It is advisable to set a stop order slightly above the volume level range when opening a sell position and slightly below this range when buying. The strategy algorithm's seventh point identifies the circumstances under which the stop order should be moved to a no-loss position. Keep this in mind, particularly when an imbalance of buying and selling causes the market's fluctuations. The result is that the price increases beyond the balance range where the large trader purchased all the sales. If the large trader was selling in balance, then the price would drop below the range. The volume level is the range where the combined transaction of a large player is situated. Therefore, it is advisable to set a stop order just outside this range to avoid any negative consequences. Put yourself in the shoes of a major investor with a high profit opportunity at hand. You must ensure that the market does not turn against you and trigger the activation of stop orders. Entry and exit rules are the most important components of a trading strategy, defining the specific conditions under which a trader will enter and exit a trade. These rules help to remove subjectivity from trading decisions and provide a systematic approach to position management. Expanding the price range beyond the volume level is a mandatory pattern that indicates who is controlling the price and what dynamics are to be expected in the near future. Once the expansion beyond the volume level has completed the start of a correction, make sure that the expansion range is several times larger than the range of the volume level. The stronger the expansion, the more likely it is that a major participant is still in control of the trend. Wait for the correction to reach the volume level range. The closer the trade is placed to this range, the smaller the stop order size. It is acceptable to open a trade within the key range. We will look at the nuances and the order of actions using the example of a trade recorded specifically for this video course. This will give you a quick overview of the levels. The trade was made on the 8th of August 2023 September contract. Levels of the trading week 31.07. The 7th of August 2023 this week we considered in the second video lesson when we trained to form a grid of levels. Let's examine the September contract up to the 7th of August 2023 and identify the party that is controlling the price on each time frame. Additionally, let's evaluate the probability of the primary trend continuing. On the cluster profile TF day chart, the volume levels have been highlighted and it's important to note that the core range is between 1.095 to 1.101. Until the 19th of July, the buyer had control over the price and thereafter, the seller took over price control. Over the past five days, the price has been trading within the main range, specifically between the support level of 1.09 to 1.0935 and the resistance level of 1.105 to 1.1075. To illustrate the possible trading range for the following day, I have highlighted it with a grey rectangle. Let us now analyze last week's levels together with Mondays. This way, we can determine who is currently in control of the price. As the sellers largely controlled the price, and with buying activity happening only on Fridays, there was no scope to increase the price range beyond the resistance range. If the week concludes above the core week range, the buyer is likely to be active. Conversely, when the week finishes below core week, the seller remains in control of the price. If the weekly closing falls within the core week range, it is important to wait for the price range to widen to ensure price control. In this instance, Monday's closing price is only slightly above the core week range. Total volume is lower than the previous week, indicating weak volume. 
Following the rules and algorithm of the strategy, it is advisable to initiate trades in the same direction as the big players. Last day, the 7th of August analysis. Core day 1.1018 to 1.1027. Close 1.1025 within the core of the day. The American session opened at 8.30 Chicago time. For most of the American session, the price traded within the range of the daily core. The liquidity of buyers and sellers was balanced. Before the end of the trading session, neither party was able to establish price control. Conclusions. Based on the senior time frame of the day, price control is in the hands of the sellers. Sell trades have priority. The week in the last trading session did not show a clear control. In this case, we are waiting for a range extension beyond the max volume day range. The buy and sell strategy is in front of you on the screen. Before watching the video recording of the trade itself, I recommend that you study the video tutorial of the trading mode in the chart window. It is desirable to open a separate chart module. Select ticker 6E, chart, bar type HL, high, low, time frame M1 or S10. Link to the video tutorial in the description of this video. Watch the video recording of the trade agreement on the 8th of August. The video has been sped up to shorten the viewing time. Let's put everything we've learned into action. Let's review our actions. In the event of a price range extension above the core, we wait for the correction and try to open a buy trade closer to the range. We will limit losses with a sell stop order just below the range 1.1085. We will sell when price control is on the side of the sellers, who will be able to extend the range significantly below the core. We will place the stop order outside the range. The order price is 1.1027. The sellers were able to move the price to 1.1001, which is a good indicator. It is already possible to focus on the selling strategy. The price is already in the expected range. Let's prepare a window for placing orders. In the video in the corner, you can see the chart module open specifically for the trading mode. In all chart modules, there are buttons at the top to activate the chart or trading mode. I will perform all actions related to opening a trade, sending orders manually without activating automatic strategies for complex orders and settings. I recommend beginners to learn how to make all actions with orders manually. The price has indeed crossed the range of the last trading session's core, the 7th of August, but right behind the core there is a strong resistance range. If the sellers hold this level, the strategy of opening a sale will remain in force. The price has indeed crossed the core area of the last trading session, the 7th of August, but there is a strong resistance area just behind the core. If the sellers hold this level, the strategy of opening the sale remains in force. I press the button, sell market, 4 lot 6E September 23. The system is waiting for confirmation to send a market order. I have done this in advance in order not to lose time at the moment of opening a trade. Cluster delta chart, showing the imbalance of liquidity between sellers and buyers. How to use this chart and trading strategies, footprint, price action, market profile, will be available for study in the next video courses. Link to the video tutorial in the description below the video. To open a trade, analyze the imbalance at each price. An excellent signal will be the activity of sellers in a narrow range inside the bar. Cluster at 145 almost at every price the imbalance is on the seller's side, and since we are selling, this is what we need. I'm going to open a sell order. Let's set a stop order immediately. Since we are opening the sell from the resistance level, we will set the stop behind it. The price is 1.1032. Let's see how well you have memorized the strategy algorithm and its basic rules. When do we move the stop order to no loss? Pause the video. The break even stop order is moved to the trade opening price plus one tick after the first imbalance activity is completed. The price has reached the level where the market is in balance. Now on the video is the moment when I set the loss limit on the position, break even. Trade maintenance. After you have opened a trade and waited for the moment when the stop order can be placed at no loss, your trade is out of risk. All that remains is to follow the trade. This is the easiest and most enjoyable stage of this strategy. All you need to do is observe the formation of the balance range and who will be in control of the price in the end. Specifically for this deal, if the sellers continue to move the price, the deal is kept open, do not change anything. 
If the control has moved to the buyer's side, it is necessary to fix part of the deal. Prepare for possible fixing. There is activity on the part of the buyer or the seller has closed a part of the sale which may affect the price dynamics against us. We fix the first 25% of the deal. Now we hold three contracts instead of four so the number of contracts for the stop order should be changed. We cancel the stop order for four contracts and set a new order for three contracts. To make it easier for you to keep track of the balance ranges, I will mark them. Transaction support will continue as long as the price control is on our side. As soon as the seller loses control, we fix part of the trade and so on until all contracts are fully closed. This can happen within the trading session, the next day or at the end of the week. Much depends on what stage of the main trend you have placed your trade. The price has reached a strong support level. Fix another 25%. Soon the European markets will close and America will open. The market is now at the low of the day. The balance has expanded buyers. It is time to close the rest of the position. The trade is fully closed. Not a bad result I think. Here are screenshots of another trade to study. Now I recommend that you train on virtual accounts, which are available to you from the first day of activation of the Volume Fix platform package. I also advise you to train with the Market Replay module. It replays any trading day from the history that you specify on the selected modules. The link to the video tutorial of the Market Replay and Trading module can be found in the description below the video. If you need help or advice, write to us at the email address provided.